I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Amen. 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 What a mighty God we serve this morning. I'm here to declare that God is with you. And he promised in his word that he will never leave you nor forsake you. The hand of the Lord rests mightily upon you. The spirit of the living God dwells within you. And no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Of course, it's now time for our devotion. I want to welcome our friends joining on Facebook, our friends joining on YouTube this morning. And guess what? God has a word for you. And our devotional theme this morning is, But Live. But Live. That's our devotional theme to take us through this Monday going into Friday. This is a life-changing word. But Live. But Live. I don't know the situation that you're facing. I don't know what you're going through. But I'm here to declare this morning that you shall not die, but live and declare the works of your God. Now, the word of God declares in Psalm 118 and 17, and this is what it says, I shall not die. And the chapter is not yet complete, but it says, but live. I want you to type this morning, if you're on Facebook, YouTube, wherever you are, you could be on WhatsApp, 876-997-3125, but live. So the word of God says, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of my God. You will live to declare the works of your God. You will not die in your setback. You will not die in your disappointment. But God says, get ready for your appointment. Get ready for your comeback this morning. Because you shall not die, but you will live to declare the works of your God. It's very important that we notice two scriptures I want to share with you this morning. Psalm 118 and 17. And another a very important scripture I want to share with you this morning is found there in Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 17. So one scripture says is um, one scripture is Psalm 118 verse 17 and the other scripture is Isaiah 54 verse 17 again. Now this is what Isaiah 54 verse 17 says. It says, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And it also declares, every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shall condemn. Now, we normally quote these powerful scriptures, these powerful words out of the word of God, where we declare, I shall not die. Uh, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. Every tongue that rise against thee in judgment, thou shall condemn. But the scripture doesn't end there. It says, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. So the Bible says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rise up against thee, thou shalt condemn. No, this is important. It says, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Are you a servant of the Lord this morning? There's another scripture we love found in Psalm 23, where it starts by saying, the Lord is my shepherd. So our devotional theme this morning says, but live and declare the works of the Lord. If you're living this morning, declare the works of the Lord. If you're living this morning, you can testify of the healing power of God. Now, I love the book of Isaiah. If we go into Isaiah chapter 53, it speaks about by his stripes, we are healed and made whole. Isaiah 54, which we just read a while ago. It speaks of no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Isaiah 55 speaks about, the Lord says, For my ways are not your ways, and my thoughts are not your thoughts, declares the Lord. 
as far as the heavens are above the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and your thoughts than my thoughts. The Lord says to tell you this morning that you will live. Amidst all that you're experiencing, you're listening to me now, you're a woman, you're in the hospital room, the doctors gave you a negative report, but the Lord says to tell you that you shall live. Just proclaim the name of Jesus right where you are this morning. And we declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rise up against you in judgment, thou shalt condemn because you are a servant. And the Bible says it is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Now, you might be asking the question this morning, what is the meaning of the word heritage? Now, it means the property that is or may be inherited or an inheritance. Another definition is a special or individual possession. In other words, an allotted portion. What's your allotted portion this morning? The Lord has allotted his healing for you. The Lord has allotted deliverance for you. The Lord has allotted breakthroughs for you because you are a servant of the Most High God. It's prayer time. And we're going to pray this morning that we will experience life and life more abundantly. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you this morning. Because the word of God declares that the enemy comes to kill and to steal and to destroy. But you said, God, that you came so we may have life and have it more abundantly. So we declare this morning that we shall not die, but we will live to declare your works, dear God. We will walk in faith because your word says that we should walk by faith and not by sight. We declare this morning, God, that we're healed, delivered, and transformed. We declare, God, that you'll show up this morning in a mighty way for your people. Lord, take all the glory this morning. Take all the praise because, God, you are worthy to be praised and you are worthy to be exalted. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name, we pray and we say amen and amen. There's a blessing with your name written on it this morning. The Ministry of Justice offers free counseling to victims of crime. Call 876-946-0663. The time by the Ministry of Justice is... It is 6.15 right here on the Family Station Love 101. Of course, we just covered our devotional, but live. But live. I don't know what you're going through this morning. Just live. Live this morning. Have life. God said he has given you life and life more abundantly. Of course, we're going to continue this morning in the word of God by the way of through the Bible with love. Through the Bible with love. It's uh, Love 101's initiative. Yes, indeed. You know, indeed, we're pleased to lead you on a daily walk in the word of God by way of this one year following Jesus' Bible plan. And of course, Through the Bible with Love is brought to you by the Open Bible Standard Churches of Jamaica, who encourages you to study your Bible each day. Of course, on this leg of the journey, we'll cover the book of Numbers, chapter 17. I want you to listen, listen, and be blessed. This is Love 101. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites and get 12 staffs from them one from the leader of each of their ancestral tribes. Write the name of each one of the staff on the staff of Levi. Bless you, everybody. I have to go. You know I have to go. I'm just stopping by just to say that you shall not die, but you shall live to declare the works of the Lord this morning. The hand of the Lord rests mightily upon you. 
the spirit of the living God dwells within you and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. The weapons may be formed and you might be feeling a pain in your leg, in your back. There's something that's afflicting you at this time. But even though it may form, the Bible declares in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, God says, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and the future. The weapons are forming, but they will not cross for this morning because you are a servant of the Most High God and the Bible declares it's your heritage to be healed, delivered, and set free. So God bless you guys. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Remember, leave a comment, share it with your friends, your family, all that you know, but live, but live, my friends, but live. Remember to subscribe if you have, if you have not yet done so. Remember to like this video and again, share, 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 and just continue sharing. God bless you guys. See you guys tomorrow. Same place, same time. Have a wonderful rest of the day. All right. Take care of yourself.